What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we made breakfast croissants with cheese, you know, sausage, you know, all all the fixings in it. So, thanks to everybody that watches my video. Roll to one fifty. Let's get What's it. up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today is episode six of my Now You Talk segment. The topic is cheating. This video was supposed to be uploaded at one o'clock, but because of technical difficulties, I couldn't upload it, so I have I had to record it. So this is prop two. Um, this video might either be long, like the first one, or short, because I really don't remember anything that I said in the first video. Uh, but let's get into it. So we all know about physical cheating and how it could hurt someone, but. A lot of people don't really acknowledge the emotional cheating, uh, especially when you are that partner that checked yourself out of that relationship, or you're that partner that, you know, basically like you checked out the relationship, you stop giving your partner that affectionate, you stop being that person that got that person to be your partner, and y'all now stuck in a relationship where one person is just caring and the other person is not some people can work through that some people can get over it they can either go to therapy or they talk and they get through it uh, once they recognize that we need to talk we need to see if we're gonna keep this relationship going uh like i'll just even i'll just say some random names uh, give you like a scenario. Um, uh, Lexis, is, oh, she's a girl. She cheated, emotionally cheated on her boyfriend. Now, emotionally cheat can lead to physical cheating. You can link with that person, and they have intercourse, or it could just be you texting someone else, you entertain someone else. It may not go anywhere, but you're getting that other affectionate from that other person, you getting that other care from that other person. Who who was to say if you get in a relationship with that person and they either be better or worse, but you get that attention that you really want from your boyfriend or you want from your girlfriend. As I was saying, um, Alexa, you know, she cheated on her boyfriend. She texted some other guy. Of course, you know, when you see a beautiful woman, uh, the woman will come and be like, yes, you, you're a bad, you're a bad, you're a bad bitch. So, when you're in a relationship, you, every once in a while, you know, sometimes you don't want to dress up. You want to feel that, you want to feel that confidence. You want to feel that, you know, hyped up by your man. And when you, when your man has checked out a relationship, your man's not giving you that. You post a picture, you might post this dress. It kind of, it's not too revealing, but it's revealing. So you know you're gonna get thirsty um, DMs and something what you would never do, which was respond to them. Now with your boyfriend just not really caring and not really showing showing you that he love you, you answering them DMs. Like I said, uh, it could lead to physical cheating, but it might just be you know you just testing the person, you you getting that. You know, affectionate that your man is not giving you. Now, you, Alexa, could talk to her boyfriend. They could have a discussion. It could be two choices. One, he could say, I love you enough to let you go. I love you enough to tell you that I'm not in this relationship anymore. Uh, mentally, emotionally, and I, I'm loving you enough to let you leave this relationship relationship and find someone who is going to be a better person for you or he could check back in work on the relationship and get through it he some so it might it might not sound logical but he could probably think you know what you you grown i'm, I'm gonna put a little disclaimer you grown so nobody's forcing you to cheat nobody's forcing you to cheat but in his mindset he might be thinking that, you know, I wasn't giving her affectionate. I wasn't being a good boyfriend. I wasn't being the person that, uh, that she first met. Even though, you know, after the honeymoon stage is gone, it's the big times. But I wasn't that boyfriend. I wasn't that person that 
who spoiled her, who showed her affection, who was there for her emotionally, I wasn't that person anymore. And so she sought out that person. Now, she did. She might have physically cheated on me, or she didn't. But I, I didn't do my job as a boyfriend. That's why I say the two choices. He can either say, I love you enough to let you go, or I love you enough to fight for you and keep this going. I understand, I, um, everybody that watched this video, I want to know what y'all think, uh, what y'all want to add to this discussion, and if you was in that position, what, uh, what would you choose? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Roll to 150.